Today, we will talk about the basics of working in RDWorks 8, how to install the software, what the workspace looks like, importing files, and many other useful buttons and features. Hi everyone, this is Verma. Let's get started. Installing RDWorks. First, it is worth mentioning that the appearance and some settings may slightly differ depending on the software version. Don't worry, as all basic and major settings are the same in all versions. First, you need to install RDWorks by double-clicking on the installation file. Click Install in the pop-up installation menu. When the basic installation will be finished and a menu will pop up, don't rush to press the Exit button. At this point, you need to connect the machine to the PC via USB cable and then click Install USB Driver. Once the driver is installed, you can select the language in the same menu. Leave the Type field unchanged and select the starting point based on the sensor location in the Origin field. It is the upper right corner for all Watson laser machine models except Watson 0503 and Watson 6040, for which you must select the upper left corner. You can select millimeters or inches in the Size unit field. Additional installation settings are now set. Click Install to apply them. The software is now installed and you can click Exit. A shortcut will pop up on the desktop and the first thing you should do at this point is to configure the system settings. RDWorks does not automatically recognize the size of the working field you are using, so you need to set these parameters. To do it, go to the Config menu and select System Setting. Set the length and the width of your working field in the Page Size box. You can select the number of working heads below. If your machine is equipped with two working heads, change the value in the Head Num column to 2. If your machine is equipped with one working head, leave it at 1. If you check Auto Fresh Page Settings, the software will automatically set the sheet size based on the size of the working field when connecting the machine to your PC via USB cable or LAN. You can also adjust the homing position value in the right side of this menu, in case you skipped this step when installing the software or chose the wrong option. These settings are enough to get started. Let's move on to the RDWorks workspace. The RDWorks workspace involves a toolbar on the left, a settings panel at the top of the screen and a cutting and engraving control panel on the right. You can use the toolbar to create and edit lines, curves, simple objects and text, select and move them and perform such operation as horizontal or vertical mirroring. Centering, Center Data and Matrix Copying, Matrix Copy. The Settings panel contains both standard buttons for creating a new file, opening and saving, importing and exporting, undo and redo, and zooming, as well as more specific tools for setting custom object sizes, rotating to a given angle, various alignment and centering methods, grouping, and many other useful buttons and features, which will be discussed in more detail in one of our next videos. Importing Files RDWorks supports most bitmap formats such as BMP, JPEG, GIF, PNG, MNG, as well as most vector formats such as AI, PLT, DXF, DST and DSB. Unfortunately, RDWorks does not support CorelDRAW CDR file format due to the proprietary nature of this software. If you already have a vector image in CDR format, open it in one of the vector editors, such as CorelDRAW or Adobe Illustrator, and then export it to the desired format. The most common vector formats for these purposes are AI, PLT and DXF. You can find free layouts online, for example, you can use websites like amidi.com and vectorsfile.com. However, we do not recommend using these for commercial purposes as there is no guarantee that all these layouts were posted online with the author's consent. Such websites, however, are useful for exploring some interesting ideas for laser cutting and engraving, looking at unfolded complex layouts, creating layouts your own way or hiring a designer for this purpose. If you work with designers, make sure to specify they save files in one of the above formats or in any other format supported by RDWorks in the terms of reference. 
The full list of supported formats is shown in the Import window. Press Ctrl-I or select the File tab, then select Import. In addition, the control panel in the upper left has separate buttons for importing and exporting files. The full list of supported formats is shown in the File Types drop-down menu. We recommend leaving Supported Files 1 or selecting the specific format that the import file was prepared for. Once the file is loaded, you can proceed to the cutting and engraving settings. We have a lot more to tell about RDWorks and using the Ruida control, so be sure to subscribe to our channel, leave your questions in the comments section and post topics you'd like to see new videos on. If you need assistance in setting up your equipment or choosing a laser machine, simply contact our managers. This is Verma. Goodbye.